one started after this. All right, just about set to go. So here's the lefty, Carlos Rodon. Well, that 12 to 6 curveball explodes out of the hand. And because he's able to throw the high fastball at the top of the strike zone for a strike, hitters commit to that pitch. And before they know it, they're swinging over the top of that curveball. All right, ready to get underway. Now the left fielder, Stephen Kwan. Way outside, and we're underway. Why to kick the pitch? Wouldn't chase that time. And a foul ball makes the count two and one. He's a bad ball hitter, so even if you get him to chase pitches outside the zone, he still might beat you. Not an easy out by any means. And another ball. That's to third. Whips it to first. One up, one down. Here's the Guardians lineup now. And the key to victory for them here, get their starters some run support early. Boog, if they can get him that run support early, it's likely the other team folds because they know how dominant he can be once he gets settled in. So put pressure on that other team right away. Jump out to a lead early and a few runs is going to feel like 30. Here's Andres Jimenez. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Rodon, multi-time all-star. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a curb, and he works in a changeup. Found back our way, and that's out of play. One out, base is empty. That's way outside. And yeah, the count one and two. Just off the inside edge. It's a good take. Got him swinging. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count up at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Jose Ramirez stands in now and watches strike one. Two outs. And there's a foul ball. Rodon ready. The 0 2 on the way. Battling here as he fouls it away. Stays alive. Look out! And it hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Runner at first with two away. Digging in, Josh Naylor. That one catches the zone. Strike one. On the corner for a strike. And a bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. Rodon fires. Got him looking. Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball at the knees. One left for the Guardians. And now the Yankees will see what they can do. No score. It's Major League Baseball on the show. For more from the Bronx and today's starting pitcher Shane Bieber what do you have on him Chris well the big thing is that the way he holds his curveball it's more of a knuckle curve and because of that it's less predictable in terms of the break for the hitter that makes it that much harder to hit this guy DJ LeMay you to start things off and the pitch that's in there and it's 0 and 1. Let's go. Let's go. 
The pitch. In for a strike. And a count is 0-2. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing play. Not close with that one. It's a ball and two strikes. Wouldn't chase that time. The pitch. Got him looking. And one out now. It's Aaron Judge now. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. And he deals. Judge rips that one. Sizes this one up. Hauls it in. And there's two away. As we take a look now at the New York Yankees lineup. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent, and you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. Two down, nobody on. Now one and one. And there's a ball. Two out spaces empty. And that's outside. Three and one. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. Next offering is in for a strike. That's a good at bat right there. He was down early in that plate appearance. Works the walk. You know, I think he's okay with that outcome. It, it wasn't an intentional walk, but he wasn't exactly trying to attack the zone either. Giancarlo Stanton at the plate. There's a strike. And a pitch. Fought off foul. And a swing and a miss. That ends the inning. One left for the Yankees. Scoreless after one. Back in the Bronx, second inning, set to go. Stepping up for the Guardians, Ramon Laureano. Rodon back to work. Laureano getting the start in right. 29 years old, and he found his way onto the team after being claimed off waivers. Fly ball down the line. Into the dive, and he got it. So a great diving catch, and that was only possible because of the route he took to get there. Right, Chris? Yeah, stat cast shows us just how efficient that route to the ball was. In fact, that's about as good as it gets. Pretty much a direct line to it, and Perhaps he was a wide receiver in a different life. I don't know, but man, great job to hold on all the way through the dive as well. No fumble caused by the ground. One down, base is empty. And another ball. 
Time to check on our umpires. Earl Hendricks calling balls and strikes. Yeah, well liked umpire Boog. Pretty consistent with his zone. So if you're familiar with him and how he works, you won't get too surprised by anything. Sometimes he'll give a little bit off the corner, but nothing too crazy at all. Hit in the air, left field. That's out number two. Will Brennan digs in for the Guardians. That one ripped. That's back there. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. Now he launches a throw over his head. First pitch fastball in a great spot to do some damage, and he squared it up nicely. Runner in scoring position now, and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Here's Brian Riccio. Fastball for a strike. 0 and 1. Well, they're looking to get on the board first here after that clutch two out double made this inning interesting. Two outs and one in scoring position. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. The shortstop takes the ball. Excellent arm action on that two strike changeup. Just missed. Man, he wanted that call. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. A double in the inning, but they leave him stranded. Now to the bottom of the second. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Bottom half of inning number two, and here is Anthony Rizzo. Here comes a pitch. That one finds the zone. It's 0-1. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Left hand hitter waits. That misses. And that's ball one. Inside just missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. The 2 2. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Kicks and deals. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Stood absolutely no chance on that slider right there. And I don't mean to laugh, but that's a tough one. I mean, pretty much a perfect strikeout pitch. I mean, it looks like a fastball middle in. Kind of has cutter action, and it just bunches you up to where you can't get your hands through and the barrel to it. And not much you can do unless you recognize the spin early and you spit on it. That one fouled off. The 0 1. Ripped, but it curls foul. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, I want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field knock. The 1 2. And another ball. No score here in the second. And Glaber takes outside. Liner, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. 
lefty was all over that one. A lot of hitters tell themselves, line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Just keep that approach simple. And right there, it was perfectly executed. On time with everything and pulled it into the gap nicely. Runner on at first with one gone. Here's Alex Verdugo. That just misses. And that is ball one. Torres leads off first with one away. Runner on the goal. Swing and a miss. Bro, and they got him. Not a fast runner on the base path, so this kind of looks like it was a hit and run call from the dugout. Got to make contact some way or somehow because that guy's not going to be able to steal second base and be safe. Righty delivers. That one missed. And a 2-1 hammered but foul. Two outs. Bounce to the right. Naylor. He takes it himself to the bag and that'll do it. We'll move to the third with no score. Out of the third inning, digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Miles Straw. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. So how much does his speed factor into his ability to go get it? It's heartbreaking for the hitter because off the bat, he thinks this ball's going to get down. Because of that speed and the ability to make up so much ground, he enters the picture and breaks a guy's heart. Oh, he doesn't get the call. Ball three. There's one guy that I can think about, Boog, who started as a third baseman, Alex Gordon, and then became an elite perennial gold glover out in left field for the Kansas City Royals. But he's a guy, when you watch him play, you would imagine that that's all he ever played in his life was the outfield. Rodon ready. Here comes. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Yeah, some guys just have instincts, right? I mean, that's the way it goes. We talk about Larry Walker, the Hall of Famer, and his instinct on the bases, despite the fact that he didn't play a, a ton of baseball as a kid. He's got it. And there's one down. Stephen Kwan digs in for the Guardians. He's 0 for 1. One of the things that Jim Leland used to say when I was broadcasting with the Marlins, the longer a plate appearance goes for a batter, the more likely it is that something good will happen for the hitter. That one hammered, but pulled foul. Now he breaks his bat. Wells takes it in for the out. Two down. So digging in, Andres Jimenez. Pitch is in there. Going one. Top of the third, no score. That one down the line. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Guardians fail to score. Still no score. And welcome back to the ballpark. Set for the bottom of the third, and the batter will be the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. And here it comes. And that one is lifted in the air. Sizing this one up. Makes the grab one away. Batting 
And up next for New York, Austin Wells. Pitch misses inside, ball one. Late on that fastball. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. The pitch. Fouls it off, still one and two. The wind and the pitch. Swing and a drive, deep right field. Loriano going back and out of here. And just like that, they're out front. It's one nothing. The one thing the pitcher didn't want to happen just happened. That's not an easy one to stomach. When you're lacking velocity, it's so critical that you move the ball around, change speeds, even try to trick the hitter at times. But when you give up a home run right there, manager doesn't have a lot of patience because the velocity is not there to overcome and get the swing and miss. Now it's LeMayhew up to hit. One run across in the frame so far here in the last half of the third fastball in for a strike and it's nothing in two all right now he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls but at this point he's gonna have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone pitch misses now one and two wouldn't chase that time here's a two two and there's a ball. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. And there's two down. The center fielder, number 99, Aaron. Two outs, base is empty. Now the number two hitter, Aaron Judge. He swings and fouls one off. That misses the zone. And the count even one and one. That's to third. Oh, he gloves it. Gathers and throws. Nicely done for the out. Well, that's cat-like reflexes over there at the hot corner. Nice job of making that play and ending the inning. Back here in New York, start of the fourth. So in now for Cleveland, Jose Ramirez. Now, Boog, I just love watching Ramirez play the game. He can swing it from both sides of the plate. He's elite with the bat, and he's honestly one of the least talked about superstars in the sport. In for a strike, 0-1. Oh, yeah. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. Throws across the diamond, one up, one down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air, lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And now it's Josh Naylor struck out looking at his first at bat. Edge of the zone for a strike. It's 0-1. Dangerous spot for that slider right there. Didn't seem to quite finish out front and get that sharp break. Tell you what, he doesn't want to throw that pitch again. Base is empty one away. Top half of inning number four. Ball one there. Mm -hmm. 
Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's two away. Boog gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. I mean, with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate, so very difficult to get the barrel on it. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that is that. Back in the Bronx, John Chambi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Juan Soto. pitch and that should be extra bases around first and hustling for second the throw in not gonna get him he's in there well, no waiting around right there he was ready to swing it on the first pitch when you connect and it jumps off your bat like that you're thinking double at the very least Put a great swing on it and man he wasn't fooled at all And now it's Giancarlo Stanton. Struck out swinging his first time. That one in there across the letters. And ball one. Runner at second, nobody out. Right-hander kicks deals on the ground to the left, and that's just foul. Swings and misses, struck him out. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. Fastball for a strike, going one. Man at second. Foul ball there. One out, the runner at second. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. And that's off the inside edge. Going to count one and two. A defensive swing right there. Some cheese on the inside part of the plate. But the hands are still stinging after that one. Way inside. Three two now. Got him. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at bat like that one. 
I guarantee he's going to check the tape on that last pitch when he gets a chance because he thought it was ball four and he wasn't wrong. I mean, it was a close pitch, definitely not an easy call, but especially after a long at bat, that'll drive you crazy getting rung up like that. Here's Glaber Torres, and he's already singled in this game and delivers outside. Soto at second with two down. Good take by Torres. He hasn't wanted to challenge him. Both of those pitches off the plate away. Don't expect anything down the heart of the plate. You may just have to be patient and take your walk here. And a pitch. And yeah, that's a little bit high. Alex Verdugo waiting to hit for the Yankees. Runner at second, two down. Next pitch in for a strike, and now three and one. Hammers that one, curling down the line, and foul. Man on second, two down. Glaber swings, drives one. That's back. Grabs it right up against the wall. So a leadoff double, but they can't cash it in. We're headed to the fifth. Yankees one, and the Guardians nothing. Back now in the Bronx. New inning getting started. Here's the catcher, Bo Naylor. As the lefty gets to work. Naylor, 24 years old, a former first round pick back in 2018. Next offering is foul back. Next one misses, ball two. And another ball. Now in this three ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. And a pitch. 3-1 and he couldn't come up with it. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. Will Brennan digs in for the Guardians. Doubled his first time up. That catches the top part of the zone. That's strike one. There was a high velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. Right down to shoot. And a count is 0-2. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base. Trying to stay out of the double play right here. Swing and a miss. That's a strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Just blown away in that at bat. Three fastballs, all strikes. He wasn't even able to foul one off. There's not much you can take away from an at bat like that as a hitter other than maybe there's something wrong with your eyes. Got to have better timing on the fastball next time. Brian Rocchio digs in for the Guardians. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. And that one fouled off. Tying run is at first. And we're at the top of the fifth. Not even close there. Now one and two. On the ground to third. Sneaks through. Base hit. Lead runner makes the turn at second. To third, not in time. And it's runners at the corners with one gone. Well, that may end up being an at-bat we go back to later on when this game is over. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock. And you'll take that any time you can get him to find a hole. Now a pretty big at-bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. One down. 
And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Miles Straw. Out towards right center field. Dives, but it's off his glove. Here's the throw. Now two away as they get a run across. Oh, this is one of those plays that happens sometimes, but it never really should. It seems like you just got a bad read on the ball, and the good throw from the outfield was perfect to get the out. So the Guardians lineup turns over. Here's the left fielder, Stephen Kwan. Strike one. Next offering upstairs. Snap throw to first. And he's back in safely. Two outs. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. The pitch. Up the middle. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Well, from the time you're a little leaguer, you're taught to hustle out of the box and give it a full sprint through the base, regardless of how you hit it. And he didn't make great contact, but the effort was there, and he earns the base hit. So two on with two away. Andres Jimenez digs in for the Guardians. Close one, doesn't get the call. One and oh. And the pitch. And that's down and away. Tough spot right here, a couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's gonna bring in some runs. Just missed. You don't want to get beat by a fastball in, and he spits on that one. Jose Ramirez on deck for the Guardians. Right through there for a strike. Back to back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. Two on, two outs. And yeah, there's ball four. Oh, that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. Now it's Jose Ramirez. There's the strike. Tough situation right here. So important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count as he did right there. That one drifts inside. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like, he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. Straw, the runner at third. Quad at second. Jimenez on at first with two down. That pitch just misses the inside corner. It's two and two. And now the lefty. Check swing. He held up. And now it's three and two. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. Popped up. Foul territory behind the plate. And Ramirez is set down. And that's the third out. So they get one, but end up leaving the bases loaded. Home half of the fifth coming up. All tied 1-1. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And stepping in for the Yankees, Alex Verdugo. The wind of the pitch. Outside low. And that's ball one.
Left hand batter waits. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. The one two. Gets a piece and stays alive. Hammer, and this one could be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. In safely, it's a leadoff double in the fifth. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Anthony Volpe, the next to hit, fly to right his first time. That one well upstairs. And that's ball one. Man at second. There's the strike up high. And the count one and one. Well, you put good velocity in the head of the hitter. He's got to get it ready early and then change speeds. Keep him off balance. That's the goal. That misses the zone, and it's two and two. That one is absolutely belted. And it one hops the wall. In comes the run from second. It's 2 1. And he's got a double. That's two consecutive extra base hits for this team. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Here's the Yankees catcher now, Austin Wells. He's already homered in this game. And a good eye there. Two balls, no strikes to count. That catches the corner. One on, nobody out, a run in. Last half of inning number five. Next pitch misses inside. Now three and one. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Got him looking. Fastball to letters, frozen for strike three. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. LeMayhew in the box for the third time today as he takes that one off the plate. Activity in the Guardians bullpen. Nick Sandlin appears to be getting loose. Karinchek getting cranked up as well. And the righty deals. Off the plate, now 2-0. And another ball. One out and a runner at second. Next offering is in for a strike. And a foul ball. Up the middle, tosses to first, and now two gone. The 
And now big number 99, Aaron Judge. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. That misses. And that is ball one. Just missed. Two outs with a runner at third. That one missing inside. Juan Soto on deck for the Yankees. Kicks and fires. The judge takes a strike. So now two on and two outs. Pitch count's getting up there now, and not saying that's the reason for this walk, but this is the point in the game when every sign of wavering starts to get everyone's attention. First and third, two away. Juan Soto now. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. Volpe on third. Judge at first, two out of the inning. And that's outside. Ball to strike. That's down and in. Well, just about to hit that century mark. A hundred pitches for this game. Still two and two after the foul ball. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Righty to the plate. Fly ball down the line. This has got a chance, and it is foul. Oh, it's a really good pass of the ball right there. Just a little bit too quick. He's got to find a way. Just let it travel a hair more. Got him looking, and he did not like the call. Yankees strike for a run on the RBI double, and it's now a 2-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. And we're back, top of the sixth inning, and now Josh Naylor. Rodone back to work. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Action in the pen down there. Victor Gonzalez getting loose out there for Aaron Boone. Canely also throwing. The pitch. And fouled off. Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just couldn't catch up. And he deals. Foul ball still 0-2. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Going to now. This one in the air, center field. Judge sizes this one up, makes the grab, and there's one down. Loriano comes up to hit. In the air, right field. Soto gets under it. He makes the grab, and there's two away. Bo Naylor at the plate now. And first offering is fouled off. The lefty fires. One and one.
ripped into right center and that should be extra bases around first heading for two and now the tying run is into scoring position all over that one right there as soon as that one shot off his barrel he was thinking extra bases really nice job of getting the bat out front but not hooking around it or rolling over it just kept the swing on plane and smoked that thing into the gap now a chance for Will Brennan one for two that one lifted to left and that is a foul ball high fly ball near the pole that one is foul. With the go ahead run at the plate, and we're at the top half of the sixth. This to center field on the move. He's got it, and that's the third out. Guardians leave one, and our score remains 2 1. Back now for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Nick Sandlin. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Here's Stanton now, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. And first offering is fouled off. Singy four homers in 22 games at Old Yankee Stadium. What do you remember? Well, I remember my rookie year hitting two in one game. And, you know, before that game in the clubhouse, there was a gentleman there who owned a suit company there in downtown Manhattan. And he said to me, hey, kid, you hit a home run in the game tonight. Come over to the store tomorrow and I'll give you a free suit. The one, two. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. So I went into the game. I happened to hit two when I walked into the store the next day and he looked at me and said, you're trying to put me out of business, aren't you? <laughs> and that was a <laughs> great, great experience that I had as a rookie playing against the Yankees playing in New York. And another ball. So did Super Joe give you two suits? Super Joe hooked me up with two suits. Swing and a miss struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Rizzo in the box again, takes a strike. Movement in the pen for the Guardians. Eli Morgan getting loose out there. the wind of the pitch for you growing up in New York City I mean you're a big sports fan tell me about your experience with the Yankees growing up I really went to Shea Stadium more than I did to Yankee Stadium I grew up a Phillies fan there was one game though that I went to as a kid I sat in the upper deck it was the game that Bo Jackson hit three homers in his first three plate appearances and then hurt a shoulder diving for Deion Sanders inside the park home run. That's probably the most memorable game that I ever attended as a fan at Old Yankee Stadium. Here's Glaber Torres. Right through there for a strike. That's a strike. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, the catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Ground ball right side. He'll do it himself, and the Yanks go quietly. So the Yanks go in order, but they still lead it 2-1. to one.
Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Victor Gonzalez. These are the spots relievers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Stepping up for the Guardians, Brian Rocchio, a switch hitter batting right. The pitch popped up. He's under it. Squeezes it, and there's one down. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. And now the center fielder, Miles Straw. That's in for a strike on the outside corner, and it's 0-1. Looking to get the tying run on base. Fouled off. He was late. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Gonzalez deals. Backed off the plate that time. Trying to hold a one run lead here in the top half of inning number seven. Goes down looking. So the lineup flips over. Now the left fielder, Stephen Kwan, one for three. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Wouldn't chase that time. That's ripped. Base hit. And that puts the tying run on base. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Nice job going the opposite way with it, letting the ball travel and not allowing the barrel to hook around the ball. It's so frustrating when you see a good pitch and your hands roll over. It was on the outside part of the plate, and he approached it perfectly. And now, Andres Jimenez. And a ground ball to first. Diving stop at first, and very nicely done for the out. First, it looks like making the stop is the hardest part, but feeding to the pitcher on the move, I think even tougher. Great job of hitting that moving target. They're going to be fired up in the dugout. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. James Karinchek. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Well, one run game. Here's the left fielder, Alex Verdugo. The pitch. That misses the zone. Ball one. Right through there for a strike. On the ground at first, and he picks it up and he'll put it in his pocket. The one two. Left field, Quan sprinting after it. Can't get to this one. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Didn't exactly square that one up, but sometimes you don't have to. He clearly didn't catch that one on the big part of the bat, just kind of muscled it out there and. You know, on the mound, it can be pretty frustrating for a pitcher, but you just kind of have to expect those to drop in there sometimes. Volpe up to hit for the third time as he lays off inside ball one. Oh. 
And it's even up. And the right hander deals. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Straw returns it to the infield. And it's now first and second to start the inning. Back to back singles. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. And now the catcher comes up to him. Austin Wells. He blasted one out earlier in the third. Just a solo home run, but an important swing of the bat in this game. We've already seen him do it once. Can he do it again? Top of the zone for a called strike. Karen check. He's kind of a prototypical bullpen arm in today's game. Electric stuff that results in a ton of strikeouts in a tough spot like this. That is a big time benefit. Next offering is in for a strike. Now, as a hitter, when a guy like this comes into the game, you feel like he's standing on top of you, and it's just attack mode coming right at you, expecting to get a swing and miss. Next pitch, not close, up high. First and second, no outs. Here at the bottom of the seventh. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. I got to think that was the plan all the way. He set him up with the high fastball and then buried that curveball down low to get him swinging. Now, especially with how effective pitchers work up in the zone these days, that's a devastating combination. Back to the top of the Yankee order. D.J. LeMayhew stepping in now for the Yankees. In there, and it's 0-1. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. That one misses, and it's one and one. One out, runners at first and second. And he takes a strike. Two on, one out. And another ball. Way to lay off that pitch down. Got him! Two away. Well, you got to be ready to swing the bat with a runner in scoring position and two strikes. Just put the ball in place somewhere, and you got a chance. Very frustrating for him, I'm sure. See if the next guy can pick him up. So first and second with two outs. Here comes Aaron Judge. In there for strike one. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. Pitch misses. And the count is one and one. Two outs. Well struck left field. Gone! And they tack on to their lead. It's 5-1. Well, that one won't stay below the radar. That made a lot of noise. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. New pitcher coming on, the veteran, number 39.
So two down. And next for New York, Juan Soto. That misses. And it's one to no. Two down, nobody on. Wouldn't chase that time. There's a strike. Two and one now. Good eye in that spot. Right-handed reliever. And a foul ball. He goes down looking. But the biggest swing of the inning comes right here. A three-run homer. It's now 5-1. Back after this on the show. Back in New York, here's Jose Ramirez. The Guardians in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the laid off man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. And a pitch. In there at the knees for a strike. Activity in the bullpen for the Yankees. Tommy Canely preparing to come on if needed. Hamilton warming up as well. Here comes a pitch. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Makes the turn and heads for second. Judge hustles it back in, and they hold him at second. Maybe this is going to be the moment they start the comeback. Everything came together for him. Double into the gap, and that was a really nice swing to beat the inside pitch. He just beat him to the spot. Kept his hands tight inside that baseball, and that just allowed him to drive it into the alley right there. So, a man aboard. Here's Josh Naylor. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a flyout. And first offering is fouled off. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. Hammered down the right side, but foul. And the 0-2. Swung on, belted. Way back. Gone. He dunks it off the foul pole. And they slice into the lead. It's 5-3. They needed that one, Singy. Indeed they did. They've been fighting to get back into this game, and just like that, they're back in it. Well, he really crushed that thing down the line, and everyone had to hold their breath until it clanked off the pole. And every time that happens, it just kind of feels like a trick shot or something. But real New pitcher for the Yankees, Caleb Ferguson. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Here's Ramon Laureano. 0 for 3 with three flyouts. Foul ball there. Ferguson, a 6 3 lefty. 225 pounds. He joined the team as a free agent. Here comes the 0 1. That one missed. At the belt and fires. Strike two. And another ball. 
two runs across in the inning, and we're in the top of the eighth. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Now this one's crushed down the line. Hooking foul ball. And the pitch. Tapped softly on the ground. Rizzo takes it himself. First out in the top of the eighth. And up next for Cleveland, Bo Naylor. Just missed. Foul ball. Still only one out here in the inning. One down, base is empty. Foul ball still a one and two count. The punch out there, and there's two down. Next for the Guardians is the designated hitter, Will Brennan. And it's fouled away. And he'll one. Ball one there. One and one. Swings and misses. One and two. Looking very settled on the mound here in the eighth. One more out, and they'll probably hand it off to their closer for the ninth with at least a two-run lead. Got it. And that is that. But not before they're able to draw closer with this blast. It's now a 5-3 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back in the Bronx, bottom of the inning. Now it's the DH, Giancarlo Stanton. The wide to kick the pitch. That one at the knees for a strike. Not many hitters go up there looking for an 0-0 breaking ball, but a good way for the pitcher to get ahead in the count. Swing and a miss, and it's 0-2. He's had a tough day at the plate, three strikeouts already. It's hard not to think negative, but you got to find a way to somehow center up the baseball and put it in play. Struck him out looking. Anthony Rizzo stepping in now for the Yankees. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0 and 1. Bases empty one away here in the bottom half of the eighth inning. And strike two. Next pitch is downstairs. 0-2 oh, count. You've got the opportunity to expand the zone. Could get the chase there. Let's see what he comes back with next. And a 1-2. Just off the inside edge. Well, he might have to look for a different put-away pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at-bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. Ground ball, Naylor. Rizzo out of the play. Now back, second baseman, Laver. Torres. Two outs, space is empty. Here comes Glaber Torres. On the ground to third. Toss to Naylor. Three up, three down, inning over. 
Yanks held in check. And it remains 5-3. So the closer summoned from the bullpen, Clay Holmes. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And... One of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. And a pitch. Rokio in the box now. No balls and a strike. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. The shortstop takes the ball. Got the back going too soon. It's strike two. And he grounds one to the right side. Throw on to Rizzo. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. He's two outs away. Here's the center fielder, Miles Straw. This is a guy who's in the lineup first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. And the pitch a little bit low, ball one. I was always told it's hard to take you off the field when you play really good defense, especially at a premier position. And that's what he does. Kicks and deals. The Guardians trailing by two here at the top of the ninth. The hitting's going to come around. He's going to figure it out. But right now, his big asset is the way he plays the game on defense. One down, base is empty. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. And another ball. And he hits a ground ball right side. Torres fires over to first. Two up, two down. Good arm side run to that same side hitter right there. Very difficult to put that ball in the air or get through it. Just bores in on the hands. Last out for the Guardians in this one. So in now for Cleveland, Stephen Kwan. First pitch misses. And that's downstairs and outside. And here it comes. That one fouled off two and two. Holmes is just one strike away. Fights it off, you'll see another. Right-hander kicks deals. Off the mark there. Full count, three and two. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. Got him. And that'll do it. 
whether you're a season ticket holder or you just come to a couple of games a year to see your team win at home there's just something special about that good job by this team to get it done for the hometown fans a 5-3 final score in this one for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show I'm John Shambi we'll see you soon